electrodes on the brain and seeing how the brain interprets sounds. This measure is called AEP. When measures of these same populations are taken, it turns out that uh, bisexual and homosexual women are masculinized with respect to this trait. And for certain, there's a, a family of these measurements. For some of them, homosexual men are masculinized. There's another aspect of hearing that has a fancy name, pre-pulse inhibition. This is the response that people have to a relatively <coughs> quiet noise if just before that, for some interval of time, they've heard a really loud noise. How startled are they at the second sound having been exposed previously to the first sound. This can be measured by eye blink. If I were to set off a firecracker in the room, you'd all, most of you would blink your eyes. So these are the values for heterosexual men on the left and heterosexual women the second to the right. Women don't adjust as readily to the second sound as men do. These are the values for homosexual men in this column and homosexual women in this column. What you will see is that there is no difference between homo and heterosexual men, but that lesbians are masculinized. This response can be measured in the embryo. We're down now to number four on the right hand board, uh, cognitive abilities. So this is a test sometimes uh, administered to uh, in various uh, research settings. A table with replicas of common objects are presented and after a brief period of time they're covered up and the subject is asked to remember them. List all of the things that were on that table if you can. Repeatedly and demonstrably women always outperform men in this kind of a task. The converse is true for cognitive, cognitive tasks of this sort where the task is to look in space at various figures and try to find out if two presented at different perspectives are actually the same. Or in the figure to the right, the ability to look at certain lines and see which one of them accurately are represented in the set below. Men reproducibly and demonstrably and carefully outperform women in this kind of attack. And when gay men and lesbians are measured in these, in, in all of the cases shown here and some others not shown, lesbian women are atypical for their gender and homosexual men are atypical for their gender. Let's just look at my example. So heterosexual males <coughs> in the object uh, location memory, do poorly. Uh, heterosexual may, uh, females are the light line. Gay men are just like heterosexual women. And uh, at the far to the far right, homosexual females are uh, respond in the male direction. With these and other sexually dimorphic traits, the bottom line is that homosexual individuals perform differently than their heterosexual counterparts. One of the most interesting and high 
highly reproducible observation is that gay men have older brothers at a rate that exceeds what is found in the human family worldwide. It's not true for younger brothers. It's not true for older or younger sisters. So the data are these. Here are the ratios, the, the sibling sex ratios. The dotted line, uh, horizontal dotted line at 106 represents the relative number of males to females in the human family. 106 boys to every 100 girls. For homosexual men, you'll see that the older brother ratio far exceeds that value. None of those values for these three populations are statistically different from zero. <coughs> I know now of 20 different studies where the older brother effect has been documented. We have a question at the back. Indifferent. Okay. Now, as in many of the studies relative to sexual orientation, things are not simple. It turns out that the older brother effect is only true for gay men who are right-handed. Gay men who are left-handed tend to be firstborn in the family. Now, the effect of this appears to be that when one or the other of whatever is causing this occur in an individual, there's a greater propensity for a homosexual orientation. But when both of these effects are present in the same individual, they tend to cancel each other out. One of the things that we should extract from this information is that there is probably not a single pathway that determines sexual orientation, either homosexual or heterosexual. Handedness, handedness is known to be determined in large part by the presence of steroid hormones in the embryo. What could account for the older brother effect? Before I get to mechanism, I should mention, I'm a little ahead of myself, I want to mention this study. Uh, this is a study performed by a Canadian investigator and reported in the US proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences a few years ago. Uh, this person was able to determine whether or not the older brother effect applied to biological brothers in the same household, biological brothers raised in different households, non-biological brothers raised apart. That category is small. Uh, <laughs> Non-biological brothers raised in the same household. <laughs> the statistical data are here. The older brother effect applies to biological brothers in the same household and only to biological brothers raised apart as through adoptions. It does not apply to non-biological brothers raised in the same household. This is very strong evidence that the older brother effect 